What's up board gamers? Thanks for checking out our review of number 9. This is a family weight tile placement game with the following description. Numbers aren't worth anything in number 9 unless they're off the ground floor and looking down from above. The game includes 20 cards numbered 0 to 9 twice and 80 tiles numbered 0 to 9. Each number tile is composed of squares in some arrangement. After shuffling the deck of cards, draw and reveal the first card. Each player takes a number tile matching the card and places it on the table. With each new card drawn after that, each player takes the appropriate number tile, then adds it to the tiles they already have in play. Each player builds their own arrangement of tiles. The mechanisms in this game are pattern building, simultaneous action selection and tile placement. In number 9, players are building up a pyramid of different shaped tiles with the goal that all the tiles above the base level are worth points. The tiles are made up of numbers from 0 through to 9 with each number being a different coloured shape. At the start of each turn a player reveals a card which has a number on it. Every player then takes that tile straight from the clever box insert and places it into their own pyramid of tiles. There are several unbreakable rules in number 9. Tiles cannot overhang the edge of any tile below it. Tiles must be placed across more than one tile. Tiles cannot be placed corner to corner, only adjacent to another tile's edge. Scoring is simple. Tiles in the base level, ground floor will score no points. Tiles on the first floor will be worth their face value. Therefore a number 3 tile on level 1 will be worth 3 points. Players can lay tiles on the second floor, they will be worth double their face value. And if players can successfully lay tiles on the third floor, they are worth three times their face value. We have even been witness to the occasional fourth floor tile placement. Players spend turns testing their different shaped tiles to see how they best fit together, eventually settling on a placement that either provides a sufficient base for future tiles, or scores points by building upwards across the different levels of tiles. The timing of different numbers being revealed greatly affects players' pyramids of tiles. For example, if 9s come out early, it gives players a large base to build upon rather than if they arrive later on where they could score 9, 18 or 27 points if skillfully placed. Once all of the cards have been turned over and every tile has been placed, Players take it in turns to remove tiles one at a time from their pyramids, counting up the score as each tile is removed. The player with the highest score at the end of the game is the winner. The downsides for us are that some people will find it frustrating having to use spatial awareness to build up their pyramid of tiles. Tiles can only be orientated one way and not flipped over, and also there's no theme in the game to speak of. The positives for us are that the rules are extremely simple and can be taught in just a few minutes. Repeat plays will yield improved scores and it continues to be an interesting puzzle. Games are short, challenging and are extremely fun and do not outstay their welcome. All in all this is a light and fun family game that can be played by gamers of all ages and here at Board Game Picks we rate this a 9 out of 10. Thanks for checking out our review of number 9.